mass logger, numerical analysis, Newton Ocean method, lecture number 11. YouTube channel Mass Local Global you EC Mathematics Academy. WhatsApp number email and my name is Aida Masha. Professor Kuk Nawasha. Bismillah Rahman Yahim. Lecture number 11. Topics Newton Ocean Method. Exercise Newton Ocean Method. It is a real loop calculating algorithm. Choose a value from interval AB and repeat procedure till get a real loop. Note. It is an open all one point method. Drive Newton Ocean method. Let y is equal to f of x as the graph of y is equal to f of x. Place the graph in a Cartesian plane. You can check it. You can watch it. Here is a root where the graph cut the x axis. Taking a point A having on x0, y0 on the curve. Draw the normal. On x axis and y axis, these are the foot of the normal, saying say x naught and y naught. Any line passing through the point A, x naught, y naught, and having a slope m, the equation of a line is 1 minus y naught is equal to m times of x minus x naught. This is a one point form. There is a line L passing through a point A having points x0, y0, having a slope m. Equation of a tangent to the graph y is equal to f of x at the point a, x0, y0 is. This line L is not a line, it is also a tangent because this line touched the curve at a point a. y is equal to f of x equation of the curve putting here x0 at the point x0 height is it y0 so y0 is equal to f of x0 so we can say in place of y0 f of x0 here is f of x0 here is f of x0 not differentiated dy by dx is equal to f dash of x dy by dx at the point a Having point x, x is equal to x0 is equal to f dash of x0 or this is say m. So in place of m, we can replace it by f dash of x0. So in the above equation, we are putting in place of m is f dash of x0 and in place of y0, we are placing f of x0. So y minus f of x0 is equal to the value of m f dash of x0, x minus x0. This is the equation of the tangent. That tangent intersect x axis at the point E having points x1, 0. Let's see here. So this tangent passes the next point, say E. This point must lie on the tangent. It means satisfy the equation of the tangent. So we are putting this point in above equation. So in place of y we are placing 0. In place of x we are placing x1. So the next equation is 0 minus f of x0 is equal to f dash of x0. x becomes x1 minus x0. Simplify it. Cross it f dash of x0 on the left hand side. Then simplify it. Shift the value x0 on the left hand side, then get the result x1 is equal to x0 minus f of x0 divided by f dash of x0. So we can write the uh, distance from the origin where the line tangent cut the x axis. This distance is for the x1. So we can write the distance x1 in terms of x0, its function, and its derivative. Draw the normal from the point x1 to the curve. This is the point b. Having points x1 uh, along x axis and this height say f of x1. Draw the tangent from this point. Again the tangent cut the x axis at the distance from the origin. Say so this distance is say x2. So repeat the procedure then we can write the 
a statement of the uh, above formula s2 is equal to x1 minus f of x1 divided by f dash of x1. Draw the normal form the point x2 to the curve. It is a point C having points x2, comma f of x2. f of x2 is the height at the point x2. So repeat the draw. Here is a tangent. Repeat the procedure, then we can write this is a distance x3 from volume 2 where the tangent carries the x axis. Then we can write the uh, x3 is equal to in terms of x2 minus f of x2 divided by f dash of x2. Again, draw the normal from the point x3 to the curve and draw the tangent. Repeat this procedure till getting the root. Here is the x4. This is equal to x3 minus f of x3 divided by f dash of x3. Continue this process till getting the value xn is equal to xn minus 1 minus f of xn minus 1 divided by f dash of xn minus 1. Next, xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus f of xn divided by f dash of xn. This is called the formula. This is called the Newton Norton formula, which is used to calculate the real in the equation. Algorithm. Here we have equation f of x is equal to 0 x in the integral a b. If f of a is greater than 0 and f of b less than 0 then x in the integral a b or f of a less than 0 and f of b greater than 0 then x in the integral a b. Then calculate a real root x which is lying in the integral a b by formula xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus f of xn divided by f dash of xn. Exercise. Exercise number 1. Calculate a real root of f of x is equal to x square minus 3 but taller than 0 0.01. Solution. Take the number line. Mark the 0. Start from here. Put 0 in the function. Simplify it. Then get the minus 3 which is less than 0. The next number 1, put in the function, then simplify it, then get the z minus 2 less than 0. There is no change. That means root doesn't lie in the interval 0 and 1. Take the next number 2, putting in the function, then simplify it. Here is 1 greater than 0. Here, change the sign. It means root must lie in the interval 1 and 2. Or you can watch it here, 1 and 2. The root real root lies in the interval 1 and 2. Draw the graph by MATLAB. Mark on the left hand side is 0. This is x axis. Here is a root which is lying in the interval 1 and 2. We have interest to calculate this root, not that. Newton Noxon formula xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus f of xn divided by f dash of xn. We have the value of function f of x is equal to x square minus 3 replacing x by xn so then it will be xn square minus 3 f of x is equal to x square minus 3 replacing x by xn this is equal to xn square minus 3 then differentiate it f dash of xn is equal to 2xn substituting the value f of xn here in the formula or f dash of xn value 2xn in the formula then simplify it after taking the LCM, we have a result xn plus 1 is equal to xn square plus 3 over 2xn. Here, we need the value of f of xn and f dash of xn. So, just we will have to use xn and xn plus 1, not f of xn or f dash of xn. f of xn is equal to x square minus 3, x in the integral 1, 2 with tolerance 0 0.01, condition tolerance less than equal to r. Form the table. Number of rotation xn, xn plus 1. How can you form your table? Here you can watch it. In last simplification form, xn and xn plus 1. Not need of the f of xn, f dash of xn. So, error is equal to x new, absolute value of x new minus x old. For situation, take the, you will have to choose. Uh, one value from the interval. Xn the value may be 1 or maybe 2. It depends on your choice. 
you will have to take a single value from the interval maybe one maybe two so we are taking one putting one here one is square plus 3 4 2 into 1 2 4 by 2 2 two is the answer it is the first equation so this is for the x new uh, x old will be the first value of the integral so take the difference 2 minus 1 Absolute value of one is one. Check the condition. Tolerance zero point zero one. Error is one. Zero point zero one less than one. It means you will have to go next iteration. Iteration number two. This is the x n plus one. Take this x n plus one is x n. Place here. So placing here. Put here two again. Two is square. Four plus three. 2 into 2, 4, 2, 4, 7 by 4, simplified 1.7 by. This is the x new. This is the x old. Take the difference 1.75 minus 2. Absolute value is 0.25. Check the condition. Tolerance 0.01 less than 0.25. Condition is 2. Go on next question. Question number three. This is x n plus one. Take this x n plus one is as x n. Placing here, one point seven five. Put it. Putting here, one point seven five is square plus three. Two times of one point seven five. Then simplify it. One point seven three to one four. This is x new. This is x old. Take the difference. Take the absolute value. Then this is the error. Check the condition. Zero point zero one. Is less than zero point zero one seven eight six. Condition is two. Go on next iteration. Iteration number four. Take this x n plus one. Say x n one point seven three two one four. Putting here in the formula one point seven three two one four square plus three two times of one point seven three two one four. Simplified. Then we get have is that one point seven three two zero five. This is x new. This is x old. Take the difference. Take the absolute value. Then zero point four zero 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 nine. This is the error. Check the condition. Zero point zero one is not less than zero point zero zero nine. Condition is false. Stop the loop. There is no next station. This is the answer. Our number of station is four. So number of station n is equal to four. The loop is one point seven three two zero five. Calculate the real loop of f of x is equal to x cube minus x minus one with tolerance zero point double zero one. Take the number line, putting here zero, zero cube minus zero minus one, minus one less than zero. Putting next value one here, one cube minus one minus one. Then simplify it. There is no change. Root doesn't line in the zero one. The next number is two. Putting here two, two cube minus two minus. Uh, 2 cube minus 2 minus 1 is equal to 5. Greater than 0, root must lie in the interval 1 and 2. Here is a graph of the function by MATLAB. Mark the zero on the left hand side. This is for the axis. Here is a root which is lying in the interval 1 and 2. Here is a function f of x is equal to x cube minus x minus 1, replacing x by x n. So we can write x n cube minus x minus 1. Differentiate it. Three x n square minus one. The derivative of one is zero. Use the Newton Lawson formula, substituting the value f of x n or f dash of x n in the formula. Then simplify it. After simplification, we have a result two x n cube minus plus one. Three x n square minus one. Form the table. Add the quotient. Enter it. Tolerance condition and x n x n plus one you have a formula two x n cube plus one three x n square minus one. I have a absolute value x new minus x old. Placing one for first situation choose the x n value from the interval maybe one maybe two. You are taking one placing one two into one cube means one. Two plus one three, two 
1 square means 1 3 minus 1 is 2 so you have a 3 by 2 it means 1.5 this is x new of first value of the integral x over 1.5 minus 1 0.5 absolute value 0.5 is 0.5 go check condition tolerance is less than error go on next equation second equation uh, choose this value xn plus 1 is say xn placing here putting 1.5 in the formula then simplify it and we have a word this way word. this is x new this is x new take the difference or absolute value check the condition this is to go on the next equation this value take xn placing in the formula then simplify it x new x will take the difference absolute value this is check the condition this is 2 then go on the next equation choose this as xn placing in the formula then simplify it take the difference take the absolute value this condition is false because you have double zero one here is zero point double zero four tolerance is not a less than equivalent to error and general stop the loop. This is called the root or number of addition. So we can say x is equal to 1.334. Exercise number 3. Here is a graph of the function. Exercise number 3. Here is a root which is lying in the interval 3 and 4. Function which is given take the derivative then simplify it substituting the values form the table form the equations L0 3.296589 do yourself exercise number one do yourself to do yourself, three do yourself, four do yourself, and all the lecture.